Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to the moving challenge. Today the goth family is moving. I thought of a new challenge. I've never seen it before, so I don't think anyone else has done this before. I don't know though. <laughs> I don't know every single video that's on the internet. Uh, but anyway, um, I thought of a new fun challenge and let me tell you I had so much fun with this challenge it was so such a nice thing to do for a change today I wanted one of the families one of the townies from the sims to move because you have the option to keep the furniture when you move so I thought for a fun challenge I would have the goth family move or any other townie um, can do this to one of the apartments or another house in this case I wanted them to move to a large apartment because they do come from a big house <laughs> and basically decorate it furniture rice it that's not a word with the existing furniture that they already have from the goth mansion uh, and I thought that would be a really fun thing to do and it actually was a really fun thing to do I tried to keep the existing floor plan I did move some things around but sort of like realistically like you can break a wall down or you can build another wall like especially building more walls so I feel th I think the only wall I really broke down um was the half wall that was in the place and then i built some more walls but you can always put in walls like breaking down walls is where the problem exists of the house you know breaking down and everything uh, if it's like a supporting wall or something i don't know and you can see me putting in a dark floor and that's because when i asked the question whether you guys preferred light floors or dark floors the main answer that I get got was dark floor, so I thought for a change, and also because it's the goth family, so you know, dark colors is kind of their thing, I thought I'd put in a dark wooden color, and I actually really like it. I do need more walls to make it as light as I want it. Uh, light, sorry, I need more lights to make it as light as I want it. Walls make no sense, sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, I can't even explain how fun this was. Sorry for the random, um, <laughs> I guess, uh, subject change. But it was so much fun. And also really, it's a nice thing to do because you need to use some items that you normally don't use. Or at least I use items that I normally don't use. Uh, I never really use like the wall, the, the, like the divider sort of things. And there's just some lights and decorations that I don't really tend to use normally. And I was sort of forced to do that. I also changed a lot of the colors of the walls and the floors, obviously, because that's a realistic thing to do. You can paint a wall or break a wall, maybe not as realistic, but you know, it's a pretty realistic thing to do to change a wall color. So I let myself do that. I also didn't put like a restriction on myself of using every single item that they had. I left some things in their inventory, uh, but if you want to make the challenge harder, you can definitely do that. Also, another problem is that I didn't have any uh, curtains that fit the windows in this place. So the bathroom situation might be a little awkward, but since it's the Sims, they probably won't notice anyway. <laughs> but you know, realistically, it might be a kind of a problem. I wouldn't be that comfortable with all those windows, but you know, it's a thing that happens. And also there's a glitch happening in this apartment or whatever. The bathroom for Alexander's room, they all have their personal bathroom. But in his bathroom, I, ch I tried to change the floor and it wouldn't let me. So it's still a wooden floor, like a light wooden floor that was in the apartment in the fleur first, first place. Yep, first place. <laughs> uh, and I couldn't change it for some reason. So I don't know why, but if you're wondering why I did that, um, I tried to change it, but it didn't work. And it looks really weird because now it has like... Um, you know, a toilet on a wooden floor. I mean, it's possible, but it just doesn't look good. <laughs> We have that, we actually have that in our, um, like, toilet area upstairs. Um, like, the wooden floor and the toilet. But, you know, for, like, an entire bathroom. Also, the bathrooms are my least favorite part. I like the main area. I like the bedrooms, although I had to improvise a little. Uh, but I will get to that later. But the bathrooms are really empty because there just wasn't a lot of bathroom stuff in their original house. It was very, I don't know, very little things to choose from that's like just enough to fill the bathrooms um and i'm pretty sure there isn't like a bath or like a shower in alexander's bathroom anyway just toilet which is fine but you know <laughs> it was difficult to get all of that to work 
I also changed the color of the items, by the way. I didn't restrict myself in that. That's not the most realistic thing. I mean, for chairs or tables, you can probably paint them. But like for a rug, where I still can't pronounce, um, it's not re really realistic. I mean, there is like, you know, dyes for fabric, but yeah, but you know what I mean, right? <laughs> also, they didn't have the television, TV. They didn't have a TV in their original house, which makes sense because it's pretty old fashioned. But then you move into the city, you know. Might be time to get one. <laughs> I didn't have them get one. Um, but I love the main area. The main area is so nice. And I don't know. I just like the way um, it still feels like a goth family house. But it's not like... It's still like a modern city apartment. But just like goth family style. I don't know. I liked it. I liked the way this looked. I like what I did with this apartment. And it was so much fun. Like seriously. I'm going to repeat this. Way too many times. I'm thinking I'm going to struggle with the <laughs> with the curtains a lot in this video. Like I tried all of them. I tried to do so many s s things to make it work for the windows, but it just wouldn't. It just didn't look good. So I ended up almost not having any curtains in <laughs> this house. I mean, I could do this, but it just it didn't look good. Um, the only place I did use curtains was in Alexander's room around his bed. You'll see that. Um, Probably like further ahead in this video. I mean, obviously further ahead, ahead, ahead in this video, but like not in a second. But <sighs> what am I even talking about? I'm rambling again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's talk about something else than this build because obviously it's not going well for me today. Okay, so let's talk about my dance classes that I have two times a week, on Monday and on Friday. Uh, and I'm in like an 18 plus group, because I am 18 and I didn't really want to be in a younger group. I mean, if I would have asked, they'd probably be like, yeah, you're an exception. You could probably be in the like 15, 16, 17 group, you know, but I didn't want to because I mean, not all of the 16, 15, 17 year olds. <laughs> what a weird way to say that, you know? The, the normal way would have been 15, 16, 17, but I ended up doing 16, 15, 17 because I am weird. We probably, you probably already noticed, right? <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I am in the older group because I don't really like the drama. I know that all young kids or a bit younger than me are like that, but I've had experience with dance classes that just weren't nice and I was a lot younger than that but still so I ended up going for the 18 plus group uh, and all of these people are really nice like let's get that out of the way first they are really nice and I love my dance class and I love that I ended up taking that and it's just it's the best thing ever but um, all of these people are like at least 30 <laughs> or like in high up in their 20s you know like 20 five and up and like 30 and 40 and i don't know how old they are specifically but they're like they're way older than me so the usual conversation is about their kids and their houses and that they're moving and taxes and you know typical grown-up stuff that i don't know anything about so when like right before the class 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 right yeah okay i am i have difficult pronouncing words if this is the first time watching my videos i'm sorry i try really hard but there's still a couple of words that i'm just not good at pronouncing so i hope you understand what i'm saying <laughs> if you want to hear a worse english version of me like yesterday or something like that i got a dutch comment on my first video saying that she recognized my accent and um, that she's Dutch too and everything. Really lovely comment, but I didn't expect to get a comment on my first video after like 145 videos or something like that. Um, and <laughs> so I was kind of surprised and I listened back to that video because I wanted to reply to the comment and it's like, oh my God, yes, I have the worst Dutch accent ever, but it's way better now. Anyway, back to the story. Sorry, I got, um, I don't know, distracted for a second. <laughs> happens not often at all or something i don't get it distracted at all back to the story okay um <laughs> anyway so these people are older than me and they have all like topics that i don't know anything about so right before the oh my god right before the dancing starts um it's there's like a couple of minutes that people are like talking and just standing in the dance whatever um <laughs> dance whatever yeah the room or whatever you know uh and um 
they're just standing there in groups so you have two groups or whatever um, not like there's you know in like high school drama things there's like a different groups of people and it can't be friends you know it's always different people talking there's not like drama happening or whatever but it's like group one like four people standing there and then there's a group of it there four people and then there's me awkwardly looking on their her phone and <laughs> like deciding to drink some more water because she i don't know what to do <laughs> And then I hear these stories of people talking about their kids and that they needed to go to the dentist and I am so socially awkward. I know that's a thing and everyone is socially awkward um, nowadays, but ah, it's so bad. I don't know what to do with myself. So I have these people talking about things I don't know anything about and I kind of want to join in a conversation because it's too awkward to stand on my own, but then it's too awkward to join in a conversation because I don't have anything to say and... I'm just too young for the conversation. It's like, I don't know anything about taxes or moving houses or, you know, <laughs> or like selling your house. That's like a big topic, selling your house. And then it goes way faster, apparently. And, you know, it's, I talked about this with my brother and he's like, you just need to ask questions, you know, ask them how old their children are or whatever. And I guess that's easy. And I should do that, but I just don't know what to say or what to do. And it's awkward. <laughs> it's it's awkward. So I wanted to tell you about it because it's also kind of funny. And also it's not the worst thing ever. Like, it's fine. Okay, let's talk about the build again. I just finished up um, Cassandra. Is that her name? Like the girl, the daughter of the family. Uh, room and personal bathroom. And that bathroom was really big. And I didn't know how limited my bathroom stuff was so it was a bit difficult to make also her style is way more like pink and girly i guess if we're going by stereotypes um than the rest of the goth family uh, alexander's room is really really black <laughs> that's kind of his thing i just went with the beds like i just figured that this was her bed and because i remember um bella bella's bed being like the red and the black like the iconic bella uh, style so I thought this one should have would be hers and then the single bed is Alexander's bed which is bad bad <laughs> bed and <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I'm weird but she also has a really big bathroom and I did not know what to do oh here you see that like the weird flooring thing happening I couldn't change that for some reason I don't know what was happening but anyway her bathroom was really big and I didn't know what to do with it with all the limited stuff that we had so I ended up going for um this like a little wall sort of dividing the two places um so one of the halves like the beginning half is the actual bathroom space with like the bath and the sink and the toilet and then the other half is sort of like a dressing room sort of thing with two dressers or whatever you call that um, and the little divider where you can sort of change behind <laughs> hide from all of the windows um, like good thing that she has one of those um, I think she has one of those like curtain shower things uh, Alexander's bathroom I ended up putting in an extra wall so sort of hiding from the windows and also making it a bit smaller so it didn't look too out of place uh, I did give him the red wall I think I don't know if I stuck with that but it does look nice so I hope it is <laughs> oh my god my voice sorry <laughs> that happens when you talk a lot um, and I also changed the situation with the different things yeah sorry sorry if that bothered you um, I changed it so <laughs> don't be mad please <laughs> and this area with the bed from Alexander in Alexander's room is where I put the curtains in um, I, you will see me do that in a second honestly I love what I did with this apartment I don't like giving myself compliments uh, also there's a tablet in their inventory like in their furniture and I feel like that's I mean it could be Cassandra's too because she does seem a bit different from the rest with all of the pink But I feel like it's sort of Alexander's thing and he sort of hides it from their parent from his parents because he doesn't like uh, They don't like the modern technology judging from the no TV thing. This is where I'm doing the curtain thing by the way He does have curtains on the windows. <laughs> it's the only curtains that I used on the windows um, Still don't really like it, but something to sort of decorate So this is what I did for his room and I really like that it's sort of looks like one of those like dream bed sort of things i don't know if that's a thing in english um, 
I don't know how to explain this. Uh, but it looks nice and adds some decoration since the decoration is sort of limited. And I like that about it. But he has the tablet in his room sort of hidden away from his parents. Uh, I put it in a chair for a little more decoration. Uh, the backpack, I didn't know whose backpack that was, but I feel like Alexander would be the longest in school. Uh, Cassandra, if that's her name again, <laughs> be a little closer um, to sort of finish up. There's also two more, there's actually four more empty rooms. One is the bedroom for Bellas and, um, what's his name? Oh my God, what's the guy's name? Are you kidding me? Why can't I think of his name? You're probably like screaming in the comments. It's mm, whatever his name is. Oh my god, I'm going to look this up because this is horrible. <laughs> Mortimer, that's his name. Yes, I remember again. Actually, I looked it up, but you know. So <laughs> this is the bathroom. Then there's the bedroom, which has some weird stuff. I wanted to do the same. I'm making the room smaller thing that I did for Alexander's room, but it didn't work out because of uh, the window situation i couldn't cut that off and i couldn't remove the window because it's like an apartment so it's sort of fixed in that place so i couldn't do that um but then there's m two more empty rooms which will be offices and those are improvised so much because those are the last two rooms so if you imagine this challenge gets harder every single room that you decorate because the stuff gets limited um, so uh, figuring out how to decorate those rooms was also, it was really challenging but also fun uh, it makes you think more creatively which is just a fun thing to do it's just a different thing I guess that's the most important thing uh, in The Sims you know we are really good at thinking of challenges this game doesn't need to add a lot obviously there's like expansion packs and stuff packs and everything but we are let's say we all just have the base game we are really good at thinking of challenges on our own uh, like the community legacy challenges and those all come from somewhere uh, and it's just a fun way to keep the game interesting all the challenges and the let's play stories and <laughs> the creatism challenges and these kind of challenges i'm really happy that i actually figured out my own challenge for <laughs> once because normally i do like legacy challenges and you know towny makeovers all things that i've seen before but this is one i've never seen before and it's so fun someone must have done this right someone must have done this before everything is done on the internet nowadays <laughs> but anyway this is the first office i feel like this is sort of um the main office if you want to work quietly and then this is more like a community room, like a family room with a desk, but also some chess tables I put in. Um, and the door will be like um, one of those archways, like an open thing just leading to that room. So it's more like a, like a community room, like an open room. Uh, and then I feel like Mortimer will be working in the other room or whatever. I put those cabinets there just to add some things. I mean, I needed to use a lot of stuff. I also needed to pull chairs from all different places because we didn't have any chairs anymore. Uh, so one of them will only have the one chair and the other one will have two chairs from the dining table I removed too. Because I didn't want to have mis mismatching chairs or whatever. But this video is almost over so thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Goodbye!